What's going on YouTube? It's your boy G Warrior. Thanks everybody for tuning in. And I decided today I'm gonna tell you personally what is done to my bike, what have I done to the bike. You know, I have a lot of videos with walk around videos, but I don't really talk in them or anything like this. So I thought, you know, if you hear my voice, you will, uh, you know, understand better what I did to the bike. Run. Let me tell you a little bit background story about this bike. Uh, uh, when I was on the market, uh, I was looking for bikes. You know, I almost bought a V-Rod, but then I uh, found this bike, and um, it was bone stock, completely bone stock, 1,100 miles, and I bought it from Kansas. When guy in Kansas as well, it was mint condition. I bought it for five grand, and um, this is what basically came out of it. You know, three years later after customizing everything. So uh, let me get right to it. Um, as you can see, let's go start in the front, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what I have here. So uh, I have a bunch of stuff powder coated. None of that stuff is basically uh, stock anymore. You know, I powder coated the headlight bucket. I powder coated the ring. I powder uh, powder coated the cover right here, the, spe the speedometer, uh, the RPM cover, and that's all powder coated. And what I did first is uh, I got the five spoke wheels front and back. I powder coated them in black after I got my white tire kit. And um, after that, I did, you know, just cosmetical stuff. I did the uh, chin spoiler right here. This is for a Paul Motor Shops. Uh, Paul's Motor Shops. Wait one second. Paul Motor Shops. Paul's Motor Shop. <laughs> um, chin spoiler. That's done. Then I got these uh, Yamaha double T bars right here, uh, powder coated in black. These are discontinued, very hard to get. Um, but if you are lucky, I will jump on these because these are really comfortable. They look good and they are just, just awesome. Yes, I do have to replace my uh, brake lines right here. I mean, my throttle cables. They look like crap, but it's okay. And attached to the handlebars, I have my Avon Kanto grips right here. They're already worn over three years but they still do a good job it's a really great um, great grips and then I have the concealed uh, joker concealed bar and mirrors right here so let's move over to the tank as you can see my tank is completely black uh, I blacked it out I, it's a 2008 so the um, the logo that was on the side was actually imprinted within the tank there was a clear coat on it and um, so you know I to told the guys to just uh, you know remove it and paint the whole thing so I did that as well let's talk about my side filter uh, lots of people ask me about that the side filter is actually two pieces it's um I used to have the spike cone air filter from eBay it's just uh, oh, I'm, I'm missing a bolt here look at that anyways um, spike cone air, air filter you can get it on eBay for like 70 to 80 dollars and what I did is, um, you know, I was tired of the spike look, so I just removed the spike from the tube right here. And I basically bought at AutoZone a Spectre air filter for $27 with a 4 inch adapter. And, uh, you know, I plugged it in and it fits perfectly fine, you know, and I have, been, I have had this thing for like a year or so. Okay, I, I hold on to that little snorkel right here because it makes it look like uh, this whole thing is intact. But as you all know, the moment you get yourself a church key, V back or a back, that means, um, you know, this thing is just cosmetic. So I bought this for intimidation basically, you know, don't fuck with me. Anyways, uh, so I powder coated the cam cover right here, uh, I powder coated the um, uh, decompression solenoid cover as well. Uh, my friend just lent me his um, BMS choppers exhaust. It's a two and two exhaust, very loud and stuff. But I felt that I um, lost some uh, torque with these, so I'm gonna be going back most likely to the Monster Pro pipe. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna enjoy enjoy this pipe until my pipe finally comes in. It's been like two and a half weeks already, and I still haven't received my pipe. Let's move over. Let, we're gonna do the cosmetical parts first, and I'm gonna tell you everything about the engine. So uh, I powder coated my side covers right here. These are powder coated. I got the Gavin's uh, uh, side frame inserts, you know, to cover up the gaps. I lost this one again. That's the second time I'm losing these, and uh, that's done to it. The uh, swing arm and the 
the widen wheel that's all from Kyle and V I got that done I basically I bought it like that used from a guy but he had it done via Kyle and um, I also have the hidden brake caliper mod which is right here so it cleans up the uh, the rotor makes it look like a floating rotor basically and um, I'm gonna replace that too with one of these badass freaking zigzag uh, you know what I'm talking about rotors um, wheel is widened so this is a I think nine inch wheel and um, powder coated that in black I got an Avon Cobra 250 tire on it you know yes you can put an Avon 250 on a nine inch wheel and it makes it actually look like a 260 as you can tell um, lots of people also ask me about my rear fender this rear fender right here has an integrated radiance LED strip with uh, turning signals on the sides in amber and the middle stripe is um, red here let me show you how that looks like see that's a red light it's really really bright I love it and um, this fender is made out of steel this is not some you know fiberglass or so but um, it's made out of steel so it's really really sturdy let's walk over to the other side over here we have an SNS gates belt um, I think they're good until 124 cubic inches uh, you know if you have a bike that has 124 cubic inches <laughs> I don't have it but you know it would be nice to have it um, so this belt is definitely worth the upgrade compared to stock you know a lot of uh, stock belts are snapping and stuff and um, I got the five spoke pulley here also powder coated in black I got my uh, side license plate cover uh, frame right here together with the mount you know this is nice and sturdy it's steel and then I got that cover here from some website I don't remember and I put my little uh, YouTube GD Warrior channel uh, advertisement in here and then I got the TST low profile uh, LED license plate light this thing is really bright it illuminates actually like the street here on the corner which I love um, here on the other side you see the frame inserts one more time and then right here I got a little oh, it's open I got a little storage for myself just in case you know since I don't have any storage uh, I can put my cigarettes in there sunglasses whatever I want same thing here side cover is powder coated uh, the front pulley cover is powder coated behind that is a 31 pu uh, tooth pulley so that changes the gear ratio you know and it uh, feels like additional 10 horsepower but it's just an illusion <laughs> Um, all right, so I did as you can see I did the whole left side cleanup mod This is still the stock engine mount, you know I'm still thinking what to do with this, but it doesn't bother me or like that some people cut this thing off I left it like that. Um, I got the vibrant performance quick release dry brakes with the red anodized uh, You know fuel adapter hoses um, This one this little thing which I gotta I gotta do something with this I'm thinking I'm gonna build it into the thing This is my tricky air ride suspension knob. Um, I just disconnected it. So it's not working, but if I go down uh, The thing drops and if I go up, you know it, it raises so like the whole uh, back raises and and then I got the shifter linkage powder coated I got these oil lines right here powder coated I got some Spiegler performance red anodized uh, banjo bolts in here um, the timing cover is powder coated as well the clutch cable is a Barnet SR um, I mean Barnet clutch cable and I got the SR2 Barnet spring conversion in there with the red springs and I also did on top of that the Rudy's 3 full clutch plate mod which you know now um, my clutch doesn't slip at all anymore and I don't think it will ever slip again um, moving forward I painted my uh, kickstand in red you know I like red so uh, you know maybe fits the colors right here and um, if you wanna what well, this is this is my starter cable this is from uh, a Ma a Max Air Engineering and it's a whole kit it's called flame wire x2 thanks john for you know recommending this one it was definitely worth the upgrade because my bike fires up instantly um i got the dyna coils as well right here with 2.2-1 uh, 1.5 ohms right here and um you know give you better spark and stuff with eight millimeter axle axel axel i don't know how you pronounce that wires and NKG Iridium plugs or NGK NKG some of that right so we got that I didn't do anything with the forks or anything I did remove all the uh, reflectors and stuff now let's talk about the engine upgrades so the engine upgrades are 
Um, it's basically a stage four. So I got a Patrick Racing. Um, I got the Patrick Racing back. I got a uh, Dynatec Fusion uh, a fuel tuner, which has uh, timing control. And I have also the um, Patrick Racing cam kit with adjustable push rods, uh, ceramic lifters, heavy duty valve springs from uh, Orient Express. I have um, the uh, MDR ported polished heads. I have also a uh, MDR port ported polished intake manifold, competition valve job. You know, um, what else? I mean, there is a bunch of stuff in there that, that I've done. I'm going to list you everything in the description so you can uh, read through it and, you know, buy it. Um, so you guys know what I, ha what I have. I would like to share it with you. Um, the gas tank cap here is also uh, aftermarket. Thanks, Rick Lopez, for that. So it's basically keyless. I just take it off and put gas in. Yes, I'm missing a bolt there as well. This is just a fake bolt thingy right here, so it doesn't do anything, but I lost it during the ride. So, uh, what else do I have? Uh, Ivan CCU flash, great option, you know, if you want to eliminate engine braking, you know, raise up your RPMs a little, reduce temperatures, and have a bit of better pull over the whole rev range, uh, the a Ivan CCU flash is definitely recommended. So, uh, let's start the bike. And uh, you guys can listen to it how it sounds it's and, and performs. It's pretty badass. See it? In, it started instantly. I don't know if you guys saw that. Well, let's do it again. Fuel pump work. I'm pressing a button. Boom. Started. Very, very smooth. You know, I got a lithium 325cc uh, a lithium battery in there. And uh, and this is how the bike sounds. Uh, I dyno the bike at 110 horsepower to the rear wheel and 122 pounds of torque. Like all the torque is going straight into the rear. Good, right? So this is how the pipes sound. Good thing I have my uh, helmet on right now. Oh. Ah, the pipes sound great. It's a BMS choppers exhaust, very rare exhaust, and uh, you know it's backed up with plenty of power. So it's very hard to keep this bike, you know, at speed limit, man, because uh, sometimes when you ride, you know, like it goes, like, I mean, it has so much torque that one, two, three, and you're at 70 uh, miles per hour in a, in a 55 to 45 mile, an hour mile zone, you know? So um, if, I, if I go speed limit, it almost feels too slow. You know, it's very strange, man. I was just riding the road glide and I didn't have that feeling over there, but that little thing. Yeah, I mean, barely weighs anything too. You know, weight to power ratio. Um, that's why I don't have problems keeping up with, you know, 114 cubic inch engines, 117 cubic inch engines. You know, with the work done that is, uh, you know, done to my engine. If you want to, uh, if you live in South Florida and you want to get engine work done on the Warrior specifically, hit up Master Cycle Works in Pompano Beach or South Florida Choppers in West Palm Beach. You know, when I didn't work on my bike because I didn't have the cojones to do that back then. I let uh, a shop install my cam kit with the pistons and everything else and um, you know when I got in there my bike was at 72 horse 72 horsepower and I think 101 pound of torque after the cam kit the pistons the Ivan CCU flash and the dyno tune and the uh, Patrick Racing Bigger Kit 
this bike, I got the bike back, Dino tuned with 110 horsepower and 122 pounds of torque, which is freaking amazing, man. Anyways, guys, uh, that was a short video of my uh, of my bike. Um, I hope I covered all the parts. If I didn't, I apologize for that. Uh, but I'm going to post a full. I'm going to post for you guys a whole uh, parts list, my parts list of my bike down below in the description. So uh, you can see yourself, and you know maybe look look a few parts up online and buy them. So uh, thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, let me know if you like this video. Let me know how you like my bike. You know, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit, click that bell button so you're reminded that uh, <clears throat> you know every time I post a video. And other than that, I guess I see you guys in the next one. It's your boy G the Warrior, and don't forget, don't fucking die.